But the real, why we have done this is to have both acceleration and top speed. Because usually, usually in electric cars, it's a trade-off between the two. Yes, not normally both. Absolutely. Yeah. So we wanted to have both. So we have decided to develop this really complex gear system. Um, so we have the advantage of both acceleration and top speed. And what we have here is our infotainment system. This is still the old generation from the prototype. So we allow our customers a lot of information here, like see the steering wheel angle, um, yep. G-forces, uh, power on each wheel. Um, so you can constantly monitor what's going on. And also, um, like we, we also allow the customer, for example, to see the battery cells in real time. So you can see how the battery management system does a good job. So all the cells are perfectly matched you can see all the temperature uh, information uh, or you have real-time data analysis so for example you can take vehicle speed or let's take some other info uh, cell information cell temperatures or let's say a steering wheel angle those kind of things and then you can look at this data and compare it and you also have all of this wow. on your cell phone um, uh, being wirelessly transmitted um, yeah so you can really play with this data and compare it with the map. Yeah. Last so, so the car can really teach you how to get the most out of it, how exactly. to you know maximize everything in terms of performance. Yeah, exactly. And we have uh, this you know, yeah, that's, uh, that's very good. advanced uh, torque vectoring system which you can adjust here. So for example, if you, are, um, if you are a more experienced driver, you can choose for example, oversteer setup, which, <laughs> so the car tells you here yeah. what it means. It's so the, the warning. Yeah, the car. Yeah will help you to slide through the corners, adjust the power just right to get it sliding and to keep it in this position. But of course, that's not for everybody. So, yeah, so we can It wouldn't be for me, Mate, if I'm <laughs> absolutely honest with you. Yeah, that's more for uh, crazy guys like myself. <laughs> so you can adjust also the power distribution, how much power you want in front and rear. Um, you can do this while you are driving or braking balance. So this is regenerative braking balance, front or rear. Um, you can adjust also the region with the throttle pedal if you want it off, low or high. But you can do the same uh, with the brake pedal and adjust this here on the button. Uh, how much uh, regenerative braking you want uh, while you press the, uh, the, the brake pedal. So you have right. separate adjustments to all of these things. Of course this is quite um, advanced and not for everybody. Yeah. Uh, so you have some preset um, settings that you know a normal customer would then yes. use um, to drive the car all of these things are more for advanced users so when, when you're selling the car how much do you uh, teach uh, the owners and, and help them get the best out of it by by obviously going through all of this how does how does that actually work or how it, will it be going to work so each customer gets several uh, driving driver trainings with our professional drivers on racetracks yep. before they get the car several times so for example Paul has already gone through one program and we are going to repeat it so we are doing normal you know uh, wet condition um, uh, then dry condition uh, simulated ice all of these things to show the customer how to use it but not really you know to be safe because the car is really safe and anybody can really drive yeah, it sure. despite it having so much power but um, we want them to use really the maximum out of it that they understand yeah. what's going on inside the car that they can uh, use all of the technology that is in here to their advantage mm -hmm. yep no well that, that all makes sense and it's uh, I'm sure part of the thrill of uh, buying one you know, choosing it buying it and taking it away yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, you know, you have, th there is a whole process, you know, for example, you can watch the car being produced on your cell phone in real time. Mm. So you have, you know, uh, cameras installed in the assembly stations and uh, the owners can watch their car being built yeah. all the time. So this is also an uh, interesting feature. And the people always come here, they, they want to meet all the people that design the cars, that work on the cars. They know exactly who has designed, you know, the exterior of their car or who has designed yeah. the suspension who has built the roof, you know, or, or anything like that. And it's almost really like the customer's part of the team, isn't it? They're, they're actually at the end of the process, but they're, they're part of the team getting to that point, aren't they, really? Yeah, most of the times you really become good friends. And, uh, for example, you know, my sister and my girlfriend, they wanted to get some experience in, in the U.S., so they're staying three months in the U.S., and they have they are actually staying with uh, one of our customers yeah uh, marvelous you know we, we have become like family friends yeah yeah no that's great that's how it should be
Yeah. And you know, the car is really about, we, we didn't want to have any parts in the car which are taken over from other cars or companies like you can see in low volume production cars usually. So all of the buttons, everything you see, it's custom designed and developed by us, manufactured here in this facility mm. uh, for this car. So for example, this little part here, the, the uh, lever for um, uh, the, the uh, indicators and for the wipers, um, it takes uh, several days to manufacture it and we actually have to, uh, you know, we mill it from a solid block of aluminum and because of the complex shape, we turn it around in the machine nine times. So, you know, just to have this uniqueness, to have the high quality of each part and the materials that we want to have inside the car. So, uh, we, we really take a deep approach how to make the car unique and different um, and we, we want, you know, I'm a little bit perfectionist, so uh, each part of the car really needs to to reflect our, um, you know, uh, company vision. Yeah, no, no, it's it's all, all good stuff. Tell me a bit about the mirrors then. Uh, yeah, so this is a prototype. So this are prototype mirrors. Yeah. Um, so the production car is <laughs> yeah, sure, proper mirrors. Yeah, sure. yeah. Okay, great. So maybe we'll take a ride. Yeah. gear up until 170 kilometers power or yep. more than 100 miles power yeah uh, and so you don't have to shift almost any time and it's not like a gas engine where in the high revs you have less efficiency actually it's the other way around yeah so you can drive very efficiently in the first gear all the time yeah or drive in the second gear all the time with a um, acceleration penalty yeah so do you envisage a lot of customers will buy the car, no, uh, typically they'll have a few cars I imagine, but will it be something that they'll then take on to track Oh, yes, you know, to, to really fully exploit definitely. it, I, I guess so. Yeah, but we have different kinds of customers. It's basically, uh, we divide them actually in three like groups, what we have uh, encountered so far. So first there are technology lovers, people that, that buy the car because of its technology, because it's electric, uh, people that will never buy a gas-powered supercar. Um, and those kind of people, they have, uh, they have other electric cars like the Nissan Leaf, yeah. Tesla. Uh, then you have people that have already uh, all kinds of other sports cars like Ferraris and Koenigseggs and yeah. Lam uh, Lamborghinis and those kind of cars. And they want to experience something really different because those cars are very unique each on their own. But they are all kind of similar, you know, they are maybe, you know, 10, 20% yeah. different. This is, you know, completely, completely different. Yeah, sure. And in your experience. Sure. And then you have that have businesses which they want to promote through a car like this, where they are showing the you know innovative approach they have with renewable energy or something. Like that. Yep. 